Peace and prosperity. This is Cindy. Welcome again to my channel. Today's a bit of a celebration because it's 21 days smoke free. I am so proud of myself and you know I put up a video uh, I think it was day three now we're at day 21 and I have conquered and I believe that I'm over the worst of it all. 35 years been addicted to smoking and now 21 days I've actually been smoke free I'm pretty proud of myself so I'm just going to read you something here uh, studies have shown that nicotine use is equally dangerous and addictive as if you were using cocaine or heroin throw some quick notes on some of the side effects and things that I was battling through and thank goodness I've got such a supportive husband and family friends that helped me. Um, I wrote down in 10 hours I experienced restlessness and trouble sleeping. Day one I was irritable and uh, my mornings were rough because I couldn't have my cigarette with my cup of coffee and I and now I can comfortably drink coffee without the thought of cigarettes so that's a real achievement. Day two yes I did have severe headaches almost on the verge of migraines so it's my body and my brain was probably going what the hell are you doing to me? Oh, I need this I've been used to having this for so long and now you just to suddenly taking it away from me. Day three. Well, you pretty much say the worst is over. You've got through the three hardest days. I, I would say that's your test day. That is your day where you could uh, survive or you could go, well, you know, life is a lot easier smoking. And the real test was, I think, it was probably about 10, 11 days when I went fishing and I used to love smoking on the boat. I, used, I think it was, I was relaxed, it was fun and I went smoking, oh sorry, I went fishing and I did, I said to my husband, please don't let me smoke because it's the cravings were actually kicking in and then it was my son's um, birthday party and people were smoking around me and the peer pressure kicked in. You know, watch, if you watch my other videos that I am a, quite a spiritual person. But I, I said to my best friend Genevieve, I said, look, hey, I'm really struggling now. I said, Craig won't give me, uh, let me um, smoke, so would you mind if we ducked out the front and I had a drag of his cigarette. I just, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to just, and I know it was absolutely silly because I've done so well. It was like day 10 and I was still smoking free. And I, my dad's deceased, but I know that he would have been really, really proud of how far I've come over all these years being a smoker. So it was a party, and we were having a beer, and I put the beer up in my husband's um, truck, and basically I said, hey, what about that cigarette? And no word of a lie, the beer just went whew, straight off the off the car onto the floor without a glimpse of wind or anything that would remove it and then I thought okay I'm listening I'll stay smoke free so that's a 10 days but I remember the feeling at week one and I'm just like oh my goodness one week the odd urge I think it's that missing um, craving and it, but it's like a, if you're a surfer you understand this but it's like riding a wave it, it just comes and goes and if you look at it well that's how I've been looking at it oh it's just a wave coming through 
I'll just ride through and, and it'll, it'll go and it, and it does. Uh, and certainly if you get through the first week and ride those waves for the first week, you're doing pretty good. that I experience, I definitely would have to say a little bit irritable. Um, thank goodness I've got loving co-workers, family and friends that bear with I have trouble sleeping even still. Um, I have decided to take some chamomile tea before I go to sleep. That actually helps me have a bed night's sleep, listen to um, some meditation programs through YouTube. Have I put on weight? <laughs> to be honest, I've actually lost weight. Don't ask me because I think it's all a bit of a myth. Um, you put on weight because you're, you're smoking, it increases your metabolism. Well, I don't get it because I've read that when you get through that first, say, week smoking, it actually uh, puts the oxygen back into your blood cells, so you actually have more energy. And one thing I would say that I have got a lot more energy than I used to. I used to find that I was tired a lot, I wanted to sleep a lot, and now I guess smoking is one of the biggest time wasters that I, I've ever experienced. I, I don't know how I actually got work done, housework done, chores done, things done, because every time you have a cigarette, it's like five minutes, maybe you'll have two, so it's 10 minutes. And it's the biggest time waster. Now there's a lot of people out there can relate to what I'm saying, because you don't know what to do. You don't know how to distract yourself. Do I take any alternatives to stop the cravings for nicotine? Cold turkey. I have previously tried so many times patches, gum, uh, I've tried the mints, um, the four milligrams nicotine mints, um, I've tried Champex, I've tried Zyban. This time, nothing just pure determination. So what's been the most positive thing since I've given up smoking? Well, I love being a non-smoker. I love that I've got increased taste. Um, I've been robbed from my taste of food and drinks for so long. My blood pressure is good, it's gone back to normal. I did have a little bit of a high blood pressure due to smoking, so that was good to see those results. In the long term, I think all of my um, health will improve. Certainly my energy. I guess one thing that people have been saying is my skin and my complexion uh, has really um, became clearer. Um, it actually increases the elastigen in your skin. So that's a great thing for us ladies and some of the guys if they're worried about their skin. So they just say, hey, don't give up. I do understand it's tough and it's harder. And I guess sometimes it's your mindset and you have to be in that space where you, yes, you are ready and you've got to want to do it. If you're half hard about it, it's not going to work. It's going to be too much of a challenge, but Hopefully you are in the right mindset where you can go, you know what, enough's enough. I've saved and have gained $631 in 21 days smoke free. If you want to get some more tips and ideas and how to beat your challenge, because that's what it is, it's a challenge. And you do have to be strong minded and you do have to draw on your inner strength. Please don't forget to subscribe, there's a little bell on the right hand side you click that bell and that will notify you of any more videos I put up and uh, feel free to comment below and I would certainly like to hear from you and uh, see you next time.